In one of the last videos, I discussed that how you can display maps in the Surf UI application. And one of the things that we can also do is to display the coordinates, meaning the latitude and the longitude of the user. So all of the stuff that we have to do will be inside the location manager. So if you haven't watched the previous episode or the previous video, I highly recommend that you do that. I will add a link in the description so you can go and watch the previous video also. So right now we have a location manager and we do have a location over here, but that is simply assigned to be nil, meaning nothing. Since we are actually using the delegate on line number 11 and we have created an extension, although we don't really need an extension, but it's usually a nice cleaner way that you create an extension for the location manager or any other class. And then you make sure that it is using the protocol that you want to extend. So now we can actually go ahead and use one of the delegate events uh, that can allow us to get the location. And one of those delegate events is actually did update locations. So let's go ahead and implement that. So implement locations is going to give you the location every single time the location is going to get changed. So the the first thing that we want to do is to get the location equals to locations dot the last location because we are only interested in the last one else we are not really going to do anything and finally i'm going to go ahead and assign it to location equals to location the problem is that even though that this may get fired and it is going to set the location it's never really going to tell the user interface that the location has actually changed. So in order to do that, we have to use something called an observable object. So I'm just going to go ahead and decorate it with an observable object. And I'm going to make sure that my location is actually a published event. This means that whenever you are going to uh, set the location to a new value or any value, it is going to publish an event. And now we can go back to our Swift view, which is a content view, and we can try to capture that particular event. So right now we have a location manager. If I'm interested in capturing that, I can go ahead and say observed object. So I'm making my location manager an observed object. So this means that whenever the location manager it's going to get the location by firing this function and it's going to assign a location since the location is marked with published it's going to publish an event and that i can capture it over here in my code in order to get the notification from the location manager since the location manager is marked with observable object i have to use a special property wrapper with the location manager and that is called the observed object this means now I'm observing this particular object. This is the observed object. Anytime this is going to throw an event or publish an event, it is going to give me the new uh, values and the body will be rendered again. Right now, you can see that in the body, we only have the map view control, which is displayed on the right hand side. So the question is, where are we going to display our latitude and longitude? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a Z stack. And inside the Z stack, I can also go ahead and add a text. So I, I can say locations will be displayed here. All right. And just to make it a little bit better, I can actually go ahead and set some sort of a foreground color to it. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the white color. And let's go ahead and add a bit of a padding. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of a background color to be maybe a green color is good. And let's go ahead and add a corner radius of, let's say, I don't know, 10. Looking much nicer. All right. But obviously, it doesn't really display anything right now. It displays some sort of a custom message. So how can we get that? Well, we're already getting it because anytime we are, if you go to Location Manager, Anytime we did update location and fired, it sets a location which publishes an event because it's marked with the property wrapper published. 
and now it's going to render the body. Right over here in the body, we can actually access the coordinates. So I'm just going to go ahead and create the coordinate or get the coordinate by saying if the location manager dot location, if that location is not equal to nil, then equals to, I can go ahead and say location manager dot location. And over here, I know most of you are going to complain that why am I force unwrapping? It's safe unwrapping because I am actually checking over here that location manager is not equal to nil. Every time, and I've heard this from many people uh, who are just starting out with development, uh, they read somewhere, they go online, they read some article, oh, this is force unwrapping, you should never do that. Well, there's no such thing as never do that, all right? So uh, it's safe, it's fine. I know it's not gonna be null because I'm checking over here that it's not going to be nil. If it's not going to be nil, then go ahead and unwrap it, all right? And then on the other way, I'm just gonna go ahead and return location 2D, all right? Uh, go ahead and add a return statement because we are inside the view or inside the property and we are not returning anything. So now I'm returning all of this stuff. And now I can actually go ahead and instead of displaying this constant text, I can go ahead and display coordinate dot latitude. And then I can say coordinate dot longitude. Let's see. There we go. Perfect. In order to run this application, it's not really going to work in the simulator. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, or on the Xcode preview, I'm just going to run it in the simulator. So let's go ahead and run it in your simulator. And you can see now that the location is actually printed out. And just to be sure that we know that it is actually displaying and the events are firing and it's not only displayed for the first time on the page, it's loaded and it's firing every single time the location changes. Let's go to the debug mode and go to location and let's go for a run, like a city run. So now I'm running and you can see the location is actually changing. Obviously you can't really see it over here that the location is changing because we are very much zoomed out, but it's definitely, if you zoom in too much, you can see that the person or this marker is actually running a trail. And you can set it up to be uh, running or biking or you can see, there we go. The person is now changing. It's actually running around. Pretty cool, right? So this is how we can use Surf UI to integrate with the location manager and to update the location and print the location on, uh, on the screen. So I hope you really, really like it. Thank you so much. If you want to learn more about Surf UI and how you can create application using Surf UI, then check out my Udemy course, which is Surf UI Declarative Interfaces for any Apple device. Now, this is a 13 plus hour course and I keep on updating the course with new stuff. Um, this course is going to teach you everything you need to know about Sophia. You can see this is the best-selling course on Udemy. Not only that, but it has close to like 2,500 students already enrolled and it has 12 sections which goes through every single thing. Building list and navigation, understanding state and binding, very important section, understanding MVVM design pattern, and then we build a complete coffee application using MVVM. So that's like advanced stuff. And then we jump into the SUF UI for all devices. I even show you integration with core data. Now, the best way to get this course is check out the YouTube description and click on the link in the description. If you click on the link and buy the course using the link, then I get to keep a little bit more higher revenue. And it will be really, really, I will be really thankful if you do that. I mean, if you purchase a course using the YouTube description links that I'm providing you. Uh, apart from that, thank you so much. And if you have any questions, please let me know. And stay tuned for the next video in which we're going to learn more stuff about the map integration with Surf UI.